Hey everyone, Technomancer here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix email not working on your iPhone. So let's get started. Very first thing is pull up the email and then swipe up to close it. And then pull down or pull up your control menu and put your phone on airplane mode briefly and then turn it off. You want to make sure you have a good strong internet connection through Wi Fi or cellular data. And then you're going to relaunch the app and it should get your email and then you should see your email now if it's still not working moving on to the next thing you want to do is simply go over to your settings and then go to general and click on date and time make sure the date and time is correct here now you, if it's not correct you can turn off automatically and set the time zone and the date and the time correctly but ideally it should pick up the right date and time and it should be set automatically now after you have done that the next thing you're going to go ahead and do is starting from the main settings here we're going to go to essentially our apps and then we're going to look for the mail app. So we're going to go to the M section here, right? Click on mail. And in the mail here, we're going to see the accounts that we have. As you can see here, I have three different mails configured on my iPhone. And for each mail, what you're going to do is, right? You want to make sure, first of all, mail is turned on. So that's going to be an important step. So go through each of the. And then the other thing you want to do is, right, you're going to click on account settings. Make sure you're using the right account passwords. If you uh, happen to change your email account password, the best way to do that to kind of reset it is going to be deleting the account and re adding it. Remember, deleting your account and re adding it does not delete your actual mail account. It just removes it from iPhone and then re adds it back in. Again, important step to do. Now, if you're still having issues with it, the next thing you want to go ahead and do is your fetch here. So how often do you want to get your email? You can set it automatically or uh, every 15 minutes, but make sure you have this and then also this fetch so that it can pull that email for you and so you don't have to each time open up. This is going to be important, especially if you're not getting any uh, updates or notification from mail. Now, if you haven't done this, the next thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is simply restart your phone you can pull it down from the top here just click on that power icon so if you click on that power icon you can turn it off or you can just use the volume up in the side button at the same time if you hold it slide to power off and then of course turn it back on by using the big side button or connecting to the power or simple restart soils as well now if you're still having issues the next thing to do is in your setting starting from the main settings here we're going to go to general and then software update, update our phone software. Sometimes the update might be necessary to get the latest email. Now, if you're still having issues, it could potentially be that the mail server is down for that specific mail provider like Gmail, AOL, Google, whatever mail service you're using, you wanna go ahead and check if it's down. So you can take a browser and just Google search is Gmail, down something like that and see if there's any report of being reporting that it is down if it is down you just have to wait until they fix their service it does happen time to time but it is a thing that you want to account for and following these steps should go ahead and fix your email if so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks we'll see you guys next time